so welcome <laughs> happy monday so sorry i just washed my hair so it's a little a little crazy right now but welcome to our makeshift workspace with a green screen behind it <laughs> so um shane just got finished doing something this morning with a green screen so we figured i'd just hang out in this area for right now to do my unboxing so yeah i hope everyone's having a happy monday and a sane Monday. I'm starting to go a little crazy. Oh, hello, Crimson101. How are you? Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, wait, I got, forgot I got to dance. That was my dance. <laughs> that was my I'm going a little crazy dance. <laughs> so I, if you were not aware, if you don't normally follow my channel for the past like like two weeks ago, I was pretty sick. I had a cold. And so I only streamed once. And then last week was the fun week of craziness. So I spent most of that week trying to get supplies. Hello, Big Daddy Worm. Hi. Hey. Oh, let me see. I thought I was typing. <laughs> yeah, so I spent most of, hello. So I spent most of last week, definitely Monday, my sister was in town. Um, she actually used to work at Disney World and just now quit, and so she got out before they could close everything. Um, well, she didn't quit, but she ended her thing that she was doing because um, she's going to med school. Um, but yeah, so Monday I was looking for supplies, and Thursday um, we have everyone here, so it's a lot of stuff. Is it echoing? Oh, I'm just oh. oh, okay. That was good. Not even on the camera. Oh. Not even on the camera. Dodging. A dodging. <laughs> is it something saying it's echoey? Um, no. Will you check it real quick though? Because I think it may be echoey because the computer's right here and it has both on. Yeah, you're supposed to mute the. Oh, mute the desktop. Yeah. Okey doke. Cool. Making sure. All right. This is a new setup, so. <laughs> um. But yeah, let me know if you can't hear the music. But anyway, so then, yeah, Thursday, everyone was here, and there was a lot of stuff going on. And so I just took a break last week, but I'm back. Yay! Hello! <laughs> you got my R2 shirt on to represent me some Star Wars? Yes. All right, so I have only done an unboxing, like, once with the double camera, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm also... There we go. Woohoo! Now you can't see it. <laughs> My leg is like in the way. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope everyone's having a good time. And um, we're gonna do some unboxing. So I got this one, this is my newest Otaku box. I got it last week. And then I got this box from a, a fan. He sent it and it's a lot of Star Wars stuff. So I figured you guys would enjoy seeing that. And then I also got a present from my sister that I wanted to show you guys because you would probably appreciate it. But I figured I'd do my Otaku box first because if I put this video on YouTube, I'll put the Otaku Box on first, so yay! So if you don't know about Otaku Box, um, let's see, I think it's Otaku Box, let's see, nope, that's not it, ooh, let's see, <laughs> I can't remember my own commands, you guys, unboxing, all right, oh, I'm putting the exclamation points in the wrong spot, so it's Otaku Box, okay, so the exclamation points go first, you guys. The Taku box. Yeah. Yes. We figured it out. Thank you, Big Daddy Worm. <laughs> so if you guys are new to my channel or haven't seen me do an Otaku, an Otaku box unboxing, it is actually one of the only that I'm aware of. And I've been working for them since last year. Um, oh, you're good. I forgot it. I was doing the estimation points at the end. That's not helpful <laughs> to anyone. Um, so I've been working with them for over a year. I think my my very first to talk box unboxing was February of last year. So it's been over a year. Um, they're an amazing company, and um, they do one of the only anime subscription boxes that I know of, and they're pretty awesome. So I just got this new one, so I'm going to unbox it for you guys. So yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So. Ta-ta. <laughs> so this is the February box, okay? So 
February, March. Yeah, so I usually get them a month early. They do come from overseas, I believe. Um, and obviously they're having some slowdowns and stuff with all the, the travel issues and the, the mailing issues going on. Um, okay, so this is gonna be February. So I'm super pumped, get ready. So it's really cool though, um, unlike like Loot Crate, or unlike, um, I'm trying to think of uh, some other subscription boxes, sometimes they don't tell you what everything is and then you're like, wait, what is this? This one literally explains each item you can see it. It explains each item. It explains what it is, gives a description of the show, um, and then tells you which ones are the exclusive ones. And it also tells you what's coming up next month, which actually the cool thing about this is you can go online and you can pick your waifu for next month. And wh whichever one wins ends up being the waifu in here, which is really cool. So the next ones for this one is Shira, How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. I haven't seen that one. Or formidable from Azura, Azura Lane. I, those are two I don't actually know. Let's see right there. So you can actually go on the website and you can vote. And I've done it before and it actually works. The last time I did it, um, hey Matt's Geek Corner, how are you? Welcome. Uh, last time I did it, they I voted for a character and she was one of the buttons. So it was really cool. All right, so we're gonna unbox. Here we go. Let's see. First, let's go for this. What is this? Oh snap! That is so cool. It's fairy tale gloves. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, they're like fingerless gloves and they have fairy tale emblem on them. That is so cute. I don't think I have any fingerless gloves. That's like perfect for wanting to text and when it's cold out. Unfortunately in Texas, it doesn't get super cold a lot, but I still use them every once in a while. So that's so cute. That's awesome. I have never gotten gloves before. This is a new thing. Yeah, this is the first time I've gotten some gloves. So that's pretty awesome. I like when they switch it up. I think I got a beanie, but it was sorted out online. So that they, they switch it up a lot. It's not like always the same thing. Like you always get a button and you always get a figure, a shirt, a wall hanging, and then something, then something small and then something big and then a sticker. So yeah, here are the gloves. First one, so cute, fairy tale. I knew that without having to look at the paper. I was actually on my YouTube today and somebody called me out for saying Reyes's name wrong. Um, from High School DxD, which I've actually watched High School DxD, and I have a Zenobia from High School DxD, and they like called me out and were like, "She's such a fake nerd," and I'm like, "Pretty sure a lot of people mispronounce things all the time, especially when I don't have a script, and a lot of times I just say random stuff." So there you go. All right, so the next thing. Oh, this is cool. All right, so they started putting these like exclusive cards. They're like kind of look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, and they say stuff like this is, said, I think it's, it's either, that's either an F or a J. So it's G roll or free roll. This is waifu number two. So I have the first one already. So it's from No Game, No Life, which I have seen parts of. But yeah, so it's kind of like says like cool stuff about them. So hello, Roxy Studios. Oh, hey, Big Daddy Worm. Okay, woo, so much stuff going on. Okay, thank you so much, Big Daddy Worm, for hosting. Thank you, Roxy Studios, for subscribing like a boss. But yeah, so I don't know who she is, but she's pretty hot, right? She's got wings and some ginormous boobs, which they all do, you know, that's how anime rolls. <laughs> okay, so the next thing, we're gonna go for the button. Ooh, so I recognize this because we have a statue of her. So let's see, the button is from Gun Gale Online. It says S-A-O alternative, Gun Gale Online. You hear the small human screaming? <laughs> um, so this is Sinon? No. Yeah. Okay, she's pretty cool, and I know we have a, um, you see them? It's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. 
So I know we have a statue of her out there. But there she is. So I always put, I love the buttons. So some of the buttons are like super gungale. Okay. Oh, it is Sword Art Online. Okay. I thought so. Oh, SOA, Sword Art Online. Okay. So it's just like an alternative one. That makes sense. Okay. Because we watched the one alternative one where it was like a little girl in a video game. Like a tiny little mushroom chick or something. So we're online I've only watched a little bit of. <laughs> There's a lot of it. But yeah. So that's cool. She's pretty legit. So I like putting the buttons on my jacket. I have a pin and button vest that I wear to Comic Cons. And some of the buttons I've gotten have been a little too itchy. Just like a little too much. A uh, little intense. But um, some are good. So here we go. The next thing. Let's do the sticker. Because I know the sticker. Ah, Reptalia. So this is like the most famous pose for Reptalia, which is really funny. Because I'm like, when does she pose like this? When? <laughs> but I have a statue and a shirt where she's posed like this. Um, but Rattalia is one of my favorites, so Rise of Shield Hero is one of my favorites, and I am still planning on doing the slave version of her uh, in the near future, hopefully. So yeah, that's cool. Rattalia! Intense equals just right. You're right. You're right. It does. Especially when it comes to anime, right? Okay. So here is the next thing. Ooh! Oh, snap! This is pretty cool. So it is a Dragon Ball Z bottle opener. So I was gonna open it so you can actually see it. I love bottle openers. So here's the, that's actually super cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my gosh. This is a pretty intense bottle opener. Look, it's his mouth. <laughs> that's so funny. That's hilarious. I love ball openers. I have so many. I'm trying to see what it says. So it says, I love having my new Dragon Ball Z bottle opener on my hand. When I pop into a 7-Eleven and grab a nice beer, I can easily open it on my way home. Pretty sure you shouldn't do that, but that's okay. <laughs> it says, I also love that Goku is what opens the bottle. I mean, he is a Super Saiyan, so he could use his teeth to open a bottle, right? I feel like that's a question the universe could he open his teeth open a bottle with his teeth but it is so cute oh my gosh it's so adorable yay that's so cute <laughs> okay there we go i've never gotten a bottle opener before so that's fun i like getting new things and i love this photo of him he literally has a beer look oh my god it says beer on it <laughs> that's funny okay so next we're gonna open I'm trying to figure out. So, okay, so this is gonna be, okay, so this is gonna be the Rias figure. So it just has her name on it and it shows her. So I've gotten a couple figures of her. She's very, very popular, which I get. Ooh. I feel like I always do the figure last, so I wanted to like get fancy with it. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so here she is. So cute. Big old boobs. Little wings. And I'm laughing because they legit put a sticker over her JJ. Oh my god. That's so funny. I have to see if you can see it. They put a sticker over it. <laughs> they put a sticker over it. Because last time, ah, there it is, vagina. <laughs> last time they did the, they, they did the statue and it had like vagina sticking out. It did not have it, it covered. They legit put a little heart sticker on her JJ. That is so funny. <laughs> I'm like dying, that's the best thing ever. Oh man. This is a really cute statue though. It's a really cute statue that includes JJ. so there you go. <laughs> kind of want to leave this sticker on because I find that so funny. Oh my gosh. It's 
leave the sticker on if I can get it to go back on. Oh no, I ripped the heart in half. I'm not doing a very good job at this. There we go. There we go. Forever hidden. <laughs> that is really funny, actually. So yeah, here's her and her wings. And she sits like this. And she gives you kisses from a demon. Demon kisses. So that's cute. I like that statue. So like I said, from High School DxD, Zenobia is obviously my favorite character. But um, she's, she's good too. So we'll stick her right there. Okay. So now we're going to open the shirt and the wall hanging. They're the same usually. And I'm really pumped for this because it looks super colorful. And I am extremely obsessed with these shirts. I wear them quite often. They're made of like a wicking material, so I, wear, I can wear them for like the gym and stuff. So this one is Gibral from No Game No Life, which I feel like we already saw. You know what? Oh, that's what the, okay. That's why. So it is a J. So this is a version of her, I guess, where she's like all white. And here is the Oh my god, it's so colorful, you guys. I'm like obsessed. How cute is that? Look how cute and colorful. This is probably one of my new favorite ones. So my one of my favorite ones is the Raptalia um, witch one that I have. It was the October one, but oh my gosh, how colorful is this? Oh my gosh, I gotta put it on. Let's put it on. Oh my gosh, it's so colorful. I love it. Try to put my other collar down. There we go. Oh, it's so awesome. That's so cool. So here's the wall hanging, which is usually the same. Woo! I don't know if you can see this one too, but so colorful. That's awesome. So this is like one of the brightest ones. Oh my gosh. I need to see this show. If she's this bright all the time. She's definitely all white in this one. Maybe she like gets brighter. So this says no game, no life is a rather difficult or rather difficult, rather different anime with gods playing games against humans and other mythical races. Gibral is a fluig, a type of angelic race that serves the main character Shino and Sora. I know that name. Uh, from Kingdom Hearts, not from this. <laughs> and you wouldn't guess that she's 6,000 years old from looking at her. No, I would not. I would not have guessed that. But that is super cool. I feel like I really need to watch this anime. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so bright. I like can't stop looking at it. Awesome. Okay, so to recap for the box. Well, we got, okay, so let's empty the box. Put the trash over here. I'll put the trash away, otherwise we'll stay forever. But yeah, okay. All right, so we've got the fairy tale gloves, which are super cute. I've never gotten gloves before, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Those are pretty intense. Like, these are like the bigger items. Um, we've got, where'd my button go? Oh no, oh, here we go. We've got the Sword Out On Light uh, Gungale button. Which I'm totally going to put on my vest in a second. And then we got the... Oh, gosh. It's falling out. We got the Goku bottle opener, which is adorable. And I still need somebody to answer the question, could he open a bottle with his teeth? Then we got a Raptalia sticker. She's my fave. And then we've got this Gibral or Gibral, Gabriel. I do not know how to say her name. But it is J-I-B-R-I-L. So I'm assuming it's Gibral. Like, maybe. Gibral? Gibral would be an E. I don't know. But we got that for her. And the t-shirt. Oh, my hair's in the way. Yay! It's like the most colorful t-shirt. It has red, or it has pink and purple and blue feathers all over. It is so cute. And it's on the front and back. That's so cool. Yay! And then we also got... The Rias statue with 
Her little heart's thicker. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm totally keeping it on there. But yeah. So yeah, you get all this stuff in the box. Um, oh, we also got the card. Which is my second card. Um, so yeah, you got all those things in the box. And then like I said, you can go on next month. You can go on now if you get one. And you can vote for what comes up next month. So like I said, it's either How to Not Summon a Demon Lord or Azura Lane. Neither one of those I've watched. But the Demon Lord girl kind of looks like the elf from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but yeah, okay, cool. That was so much stuff. Huh. <sighs> yeah. And all of the boxes have this much stuff. They're all, they're like, in the subscription boxes that I've opened before have never had as much stuff as I feel like this one does. So yes, definitely go to otakubox.com. It's the Otaku Box. The Otaku oh. Takubox.com and use my code, which is in cubed. And if you use my code, then you get $10 off your first two boxes. So this actually is my, <gasps> hello, Tetso Matt. Hi, welcome. <laughs> so my thing actually says use my code to get $10 off your own otaku box, but I'm pretty sure it's the first two otaku boxes you get $10 off, which is a pretty, like for all the stuff that I got in here, it's a pretty good rate. But yeah, so there we go. There was the otaku box, my first unboxing of the day is done. Yay. So cool, awesome. I'm gonna keep this shirt on because I really like it. It makes me feel super colorful. Okay, so there's the first one. So we're gonna put it over here. Mm. Over there. It'll go over there. Okay. So then also I want to show you guys, this was my Christmas present from my sister. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? So it is my newest backpack. It's from the Disney parks, because like I said, she worked there. And yeah, it's a rainbow Minnie Mouse one. Or Mickey Mouse, I guess Mickey Mouse. But I'm so excited. So my current one, which is also one of my favorites, is one that my friend gave me, and it's my little little Ewok purse, which I think what I'm gonna do now that I'm going to the grocery stores, you know, you're supposed to wipe everything down because, you know, that's the responsible thing to do. So I think I'm gonna actually change my purse from this one to this one and wipe this one down um, and like change them out every couple weeks. But I wanted to show you guys, so that was so cool. And it came from the Disney parks before they closed, but yeah. It's so cute, the inside is like all Mickey Mouse. How cute is that? But it's so bright, I feel like it matches my personality. <laughs> but I wanna show you all that. So I had not seen my sister for Christmas at all, so we, when I just saw her, that's when she gave me that, which was my Christmas present. So yay, colorful person. Okay, and then next, the next unboxing, is I got this from a friend. His name is Joseph, and he sent me this box, and it has a lot of Star Wars stuff in it. So I don't know, I haven't opened it. I opened it, but then I was like, hey, I can unbox this for you guys. So, here we go. Oh, these are so cool. So these are like, let me see, put that there. So these are the Rise of the Skywalker things and it's so cool this says vader and that one's a vader one and this one actually says supreme leader kylo ren which is funny i mean i guess it's not funny but i don't really think of him that way because it's kylo ren but he does have you can see he's got the um the red on his mask it's pretty cool actually those are legit those are cool oh snap apparently he has sis slash the Sith slash, Sith, say that five times fast. Sith slash action. Like karate chop action. That's pretty cool. So yeah, those are those. Oh, he has force slash. What's the difference? Darth Vader has force slash and he has Sith slash. I feel like they're the same thing. They're just wanting them to sound different. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, that's cool. It's got the red, a red trooper sticker. That's fun. It's like the pop version. A lot of the pop version stuff. I have a lot of pop versions. Ooh, here's some pops. I see them. Ooh, what's this? 
think this is a pin from it. I don't know what symbol this is. Does anyone know? What symbol is this? I don't know, but it can go on my pin jacket. <laughs> What's it say? I mean, it's Lucas Films. I'm just not sure exactly what symbol it is. I'm assuming it's something to do with the new order because I don't know their signs quite as, as well, obviously. So cool, that's pretty cool. All right. Oh snap. Okay, so here is a new pop. This is the new Ray from, with her white outfit, I believe. Yeah, that's cool, I'll take her out. I take all my pops out. I know some people are like, oh my God. I'm like, they don't even take them for the reason that you're supposed to take them out. Oh, well, that's cool. It has the, in the back. That was her background. That's cool. Sometimes I keep the boxes depending on which pops they are. Ooh, this is cool. All right, let me put this back. Y'all are so quiet today. Is everyone working from home? So here's the box for it. Okay, here she is. She's so cute. So she's got the new white outfit on, which I do not have this one. I actually have all of the rays except for the new stuff. So this is really exciting. Um, so it's got the white outfit, her gun, her new shoes, her saber, and her new hair. So that's pretty cool. Yay! And then, oh my gosh, I'm so pumped for this. Everyone tells me I need to cosplay this. And to be fair, I'm getting like really close to possibly doing it um, because so many people talk about it. So it's the dark ray because I feel like I could do a maybe not super super screen accurate, but I could def I feel like I could definitely do a pretty good version of her as dark. I've definitely done some dark characters where I have like the creepy eyes, like when I did my Vader. So here she is. Oh my gosh, she got her double bladed saber, her creepy dress. Oh my god, look. Just so cute. Hello, Tinsel Mask. Um, then pin, the pin is the symbol for the Knights of Ren. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it looked familiar. Did you know they're making apparently a Knights of Ren TV show? So that should be pretty cool. So this will come in handy. I'll like wear this when I watch the show. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, hey. <laughs> Yeah, so here she is. She's so cool. I love how her eyes are like super creepy. Oh, she's got like sunken in cheeks and stuff too. That's creepy. Yeah, look at the difference. She's got like sunken in cheeks. So there they are. Those are awesome. I love pops. So when I first started collecting pops, I said I was, oh, she cosplayed the new Jill Valentine. Ooh, huh. Resident Evil 3 remake. I don't. I haven't played it yet, so I'll have to look it up. Is she? Does she look different than the original? I'm trying to think. Ooh! Oh my gosh! Here we go. Here's the last thing in the box. Oh my gosh! So this is the 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 friend of mine who he gave me all of my Star Wars Funko Pop shirts, and I actually wear them all the time. <laughs> Because they're giant, and I like giant t-shirts, but here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look. Hey. Look, you want to see something? Of course, sure. Thanks. Look, here's uh, Darth Vader. I love Darth Vader. I know you love Darth Vader. You want to play with him? Yeah. All right. I'll open it for you. <laughs> that was Ross's. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's open it. Darth Vader is awesome. Darth Vader is awesome. He's a cool guy. But he's Seppy the bad guy. It's Seppy the bad guy, but he's still pretty cool. He turns yeah. good in the end. Yeah. All right, let's open it. Cool. You're going to have to come over here because I can't step it. That's okay. I'll hand it to you. He, he has a cool sword. He does. It's a lightsaber. Yeah, it's a lightsaber. I wish I had a lightsaber toy. You know that. Don't tell people I don't I don't teach you what a lightsaber is. Crazy. Alright. Uh, I don't say that. Alright, here it is. That's so cool. Alright, here you go. You can go play with him. 
But I said I don't have toys in there. Okay, well, careful. Don't step on anything. It's not yours. It really looks right there. <laughs> okay, cool. See, these ones didn't really have tape on them either, so technically I can, uh, I can open it. But here's the shirt. That looks cool. I know. So the shirt is Ray. I like how she's like, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> hey, Matt. Uh, yeah, she doesn't have the tube top. What? She doesn't have the tube top? I hate the tube top. That'd be awesome. And it's got C-3PO. Ooh, C-3PO with a crossbow. That's pretty cool. And it's got BBA and Dio. And I love Dio. That's so cool. Oh my God, I'm so pumped. You guys. Luckily I'm doing laundry right now. I'm gonna put this on after. <laughs> I love Funko Pops. Okay, so originally my idea for Funko Pops was I was only going to get the Funko Pops that I had cosplays of, right? Okay, so that way I could only get the ones that I, you know, cosplayed. And it started off that way and then I had friends who are awesome send me a lot of Star Wars ones. And so I have pretty much not every Star Wars, but a lot of Star Wars. I definitely had one fan who said he had a bunch. He either had them given to him or they were his kids or something. None of them were opened. And he was like, I'm probably just going to give them away. Do you want them? And I was like, sure. You know, thinking as a couple pops, he sends me a box that's like this big with like 50 pops in it. And there were all the Star Wars ones. So I've got like all the Star Wars pops. I definitely have all the rays that I've either, oh, sorry that I've either gotten myself or I have had people gift me. Um, and then then after the Star Wars ones though, I will say I only have the things I cosplay. So I have like a Lilu, I have a Ariel. Though to be fair, I have the Ariel that I cosplay as and then also a couple other Ariels because she's my favorite. Um, I have the Jasmine because I have a Jasmine. Um, I've got a Zoe from Firefly because I do that one. Uh, so yeah, as far as non-Star Wars ones go, I mostly only have ones I cosplay. But I also have like Spider-Man and Aquaman because they're my favorite. So Pops are really addicting, you guys. But yeah, here's my new little Pops. They're so cute. So it looks like, as far as the Pops go, so they've got a Ray, They've got a Kylo, Finn, the new Poe with the beard. Ooh, they have a Zor Zori. Was it Zori? They have her. I liked her character. They have a Dio, which I would get that. I do like the the um, droids. They have a Lando. They have a BB-8. They have a Janna. Rose, which she didn't do much in the last movie, but they have a Sith Trooper, a Sith Jet Trooper, a First Order Jet Trooper, and Lieutenant Connix. So that's all the new pop Funko Pops for the new Star Wars that they have apparently. Oh, also, okay, never mind. They also have Dark Ray and then C-3PO with red eyes. So, says they got a lot. <laughs> yeah, I have so many pops. It's bad. It's a problem that I have. And I'm pretty sure I even ended up giving, like, a ton away. Like, I know I gave some of the extras I had. Like, I've, I've been gifted and or had, um... Like two Wonder Woman ones, I gave those away with a print of mine for a giveaway. I had a Slave Leia I gave away for a giveaway. I think I had an extra Ray I gave away. Um, I definitely had some like Star Wars characters like Luke and a couple that people really wanted, so I gave it to them. But yeah, no, I have so many pops. It's a problem, you guys. <laughs> so yeah, so here are my new ones. And I'm so excited for this shirt. So I sleep in them, that's why they're so huge. I'm so down. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. I do love how she's like, got her hand out. Like, what do you want, Ray? Like, what do you want from me? What, what would you like? And she has brown lipstick, which is cute. But yeah, so I think I have like almost every one of these shirts. I definitely have, I definitely have the Last Jedi. I have Force Awakens. I have Rogue One. Uh, I have Return of the Jedi. I think I have a couple more. I have so many. They're all dirty right now because I wear them so much. Uh, do you think Kamapalooza is getting canceled? I'm not sure. Um, to be fair, no offense to Kamapalooza, it is a smaller 
smaller convention than some of the huge ones. So some of those have just been getting canceled until next year. I know Akon got canceled um, and they're changing it to next year. Um, I know Fan Days or Fan Fan Expo and MegaCon have both been rescheduled for the summer. You don't want to talk about how many pops you have? I don't either. I haven't honestly counted because I know I have so many on my little area over there. Uh, we have these two bookcases, which I, by the way, now that everything's like pretty much together, I think I'm going to try to do not on, on Twitch per se, but maybe for like a YouTube video, try to do like a house tour. Um, but I definitely have so many pops on these two bookcases we have. And I don't even think that's all of them. I think some of them are also my craft room. I think I have one downstairs. I definitely have a Ron Swanson that I think is downstairs judging me. <laughs> yeah, I thought about selling them. To be fair, like I said, I gave a lot away a couple years ago. And by giving most of those away, I think I made room for a lot. Um, like, I don't have a ton of room for more, <laughs> but I definitely have more room than none room. <laughs> but yeah, if Comicpalooza gets canceled, I'll be sad, but I really, I want to go. I was trying to go this year with a company called Popso. Uh, we had plans to possibly, for them to have me out there with them, so we'll see. But, I mean, if it gets canceled, then I'm sure it'll be good next year. And if it gets rescheduled, I'm sure they'll let us know. I know Megacon just announced today that they're rescheduling, so... Today's the 23rd, right? What's today? Yeah, so they announced that today. So yeah, it sucks, but how's everyone? How's everyone's uh, staying inside going? Because I have been inside since basically last, no, two Tuesdays ago. <laughs> Actually two, like two and a half, maybe three weeks ago, but also I was sick. Um, I had a cold. And then of course the second I got better from my cold, everything closed down. <laughs> I have gone to the grocery store a couple times, but other than that, I know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, definitely. I, um, I'm getting a little restless and I miss Comic-Cons too. So, but I mean, they'll still be around. Like Comic-Cons aren't going anywhere. It's just this year is a little stressful. Yeah. John Carpenter. Who's John Carpenter? Why do I know that name? I was thinking John Carter, but that's on Mars. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so here's my one shirt. All right, I'm gonna stand up since I can. Normally I can't stand. Okay, I have like three shirts on, so you guys don't judge me. Okay, okay, so here's one. So this is the Otaku Box shirt of, of, what was her name? Ghibli something? So there's that one. Uh, uh, uh. Then we'll try this one on. Then I'm gonna have to take some off because it's kind of hot. Directed Halloween. Oh, okay. So I don't watch a lot of horror movies. Um, so here's this one. Yay! Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. That's so cool. <laughs> All right. <Ugh. laughs> so many shirts. You guys don't understand how much I love t shirts, though. Here's how I fold. Can watch me fold how exciting is that oh <laughs> i can teach how to fold folding for quarantine there we go yeah so i don't watch horror movies so i have actually not seen halloween not gonna lie i have not seen it um any of them <laughs> i did go to a horror convention a couple years ago and i cosplayed as gwenum because that's evil gwen so i felt like that was appropriate I cosplayed as uh, Liv from iZombie, which is technically pop culture and not really horror, but it's a zombie, so I felt like that was fine. And then I cosplayed as Annabelle. It was awesome. I loved cosplaying as Annabelle, but not gonna lie, haven't seen that movie because I'm terrified of dolls. They are terrifying. <laughs> Ooh, oh my goodness. I'm trying to sit back down. So the desk we're using right now for this is actually, um, Katniss's new cage we're trying to build um, that we haven't yet. So maybe we'll get some home projects done during quarantine. <laughs> Direct a lot of 80s movies, both horror and non-horror. Oh, okay. Well, maybe that's why I feel like I recognize this name. Because if it's not horror, I may have seen it. But yeah, so to recap, we got these two pops. Here they are. 
And then I got the Darth Vader with Force Slash, but Roxas is playing with it. I got this cool sticker, which I don't know if it's a vinyl sticker or a normal sticker. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's just a normal sticker. I'll probably stick it on my um, my M cubed box that I take to conventions. It has a lot of stickers on it. And then I got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren with Sith Slash. Actually, I'll probably just take him out so you guys can see him because I'm sure he'll want to play with it too. <laughs> And I don't necessarily keep the newer toys uh, in boxes because I don't really, I'm not a collector. You know, I like toys. I like to display figures and stuff, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to like keep them in their box. De we definitely have some older toys, like some de older Star Wars stuff and some Spawn stuff that does get stay in the box, but not all the new stuff. All right, here he is. Kind of cool. They're um, I think, ooh, their capes are very like fluffy. I don't know why I did it that way. <laughs> oh no, his hand broke off. I mean, not like broke, broken, but okay, there we go. Oh no, why does it keep breaking? It's got like ball joints. Maybe it's the wrong hand. Kylo Ren left-handed. How am I supposed to do Sith Slash the toy? Okay, there we go. Aha! So let's see. Sith Slash. Ooh! Oh, it comes off. There we go. Boom. Watch this. Quieta! 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 <laughs> Sith Slash. Here he can slash Ray. Though that would never happen. Here we go. Here's Ray. <laughs> so there you go. His cis lash works properly. All right. He does have a little. Does he ever have a hood on it? I don't even really remember him having a hood in this new movie. I remember it in the first movie. Um. Like I remember it in Force Awakens and maybe Last Jedi. But I definitely remember it in Force Awakens, but I don't remember him having a hood in Rise of Skywalker, but I could be very wrong. I did just watch it because it came out on on um, what did it come out on? Disney Plus? Disney Plus! So cool! So there we go. So I got this guy and then I got Vader, but Vader is being played with, so <laughs> let's see if I can stack him up. But So yes, thank you so much, Joseph. Yeah, his name's Joseph Michaels. Um, he sends me a lot of Star Wars stuff. He is very sweet. So thank you so much. There we go. Boom. Okay, that's not working. He doesn't like to stand up. Can he sit? He can sit. Not with his cape on. <laughs> this is just a difficult toy. He's being difficult. We'll put him there. Boom. Oh, no, he's going to fall backwards. Ha-ha! He lives. So yeah, there we go. And then I did my Otaku box. In there. I think that's everything. Okay, yeah. Cool. So I did that. I showed you my new backpack. Ooh. I did my otaku box. You guys are so quiet today. Here we can put my Rias with Kylo. I feel like I feel like she would definitely um I don't know. I don't know who would win in that situation. I don't know if it would be Kylo or Rias. I'm going to put everything out so you guys can see it all. Alright. Ta ta. Oh, well, that fell. That fell real, real fast. That's okay. Here we go. There we go. That's the same thing. To top. I'm just dropping everything, you guys. This is a disaster. There we go. One and two. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, so, oh, I did get the new Animal Crossing, and I am uh, planning on playing that on Thursday, if y'all want to hang out and play it. I haven't had to play it a ton. Um, I started it. 
And uh, we started it with Roxas, and he named everything. So the, the character's name is Roxas, and the island's name is Orange. So, you know, but we got that. So that's been fun. We've been playing with that. Sorry, I'm trying to ugh, move my legs. If you want to start getting boxes like that, definitely go to the otakubox.com. Um, they're really good pricing. They're so awesome. They're so communica communicative with everybody. Um, and if you use my code, which is mcubed, you can actually get $10 off your first two boxes. So that's a lot of savings. Um, I've been getting them for basically about a year now, and they're always something different. They always come with a t-shirt, oh, I don't have it on, a t-shirt, um, some bigger type of item, like I've gotten gloves, I've gotten coffee mugs, I've gotten a beanie once, um, I got a phone charger that had like all the different charging things on it, a bunch of random bigger stuff like that, they all come with a button, they all, and then they all come with something smaller, like a keychain, I got a bracelet, um, this is a bottle opener, and then they all come with a statue, the statues, you can get an Ichi version or not. Oh, they also all come with a wall hanging, which is usually the same as the shirt, unless you get the Ichi version, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, and the Ichi version, the wall hanging, and possibly the button are actual full nude. <laughs> so kind of depends on what you want. Um, the shirts are never nude though, so you can wear those out. Um, the statues are sometimes nude. They definitely have, like I said, the some of them. Not all of them. <laughs> this one does. And it has a heart cover in it, which is super cute. It did not have that last time. But yeah, so definitely, um, oh no, lots of things have fallen. And they all come with stickers, which the stickers are like the push, plushy vinyl ones. So they're really good if you have like um, somewhere where you collect stickers. I know like it's not, a, it's not as much of a, a guy thing, but a lot of girls have the clear backpacks where they cover, they put the stickers on them. So yeah, they're like durable stickers. Oh yeah, they're really fun boxes. I've really enjoyed working for this company. They're awesome. So yeah. And you get to vote. So you can actually go online and you can vote for, so, so it says, it tells you like voting for, you know, this month closes whenever. And so you vote for the, out of the two that they give you, you vote for the next waifu. So that one is either going to be a button or a sticker or sometimes it's the shirt. So the last time I went and voted, I voted for Mel, Mel uh, can't remember her name now that I'm, go I'm going blank. Melky, the, the bad chick from Rise of the Shield Hero, the redhead. So I love the redhead characters, obviously, because I'm a redhead, and so I like to see them. But she's evil, and I hated her in the show. But I went and voted for her, and she came on the button last time. So it actually counts. You do get to vote, and it does actually count. So that's cool. So if you want to start getting boxes like that, definitely go to thetalkbox.com and use my code that will help you out and help me out because then they'll be like oh look how good you are at advertising <laughs> but yeah so i usually do these unboxings whenever i get the boxes i usually do them on here or i do them on my youtube channel and i always upload these to my youtube channel so if you wanted to kind of see before you ordered um what's in a lot of the boxes you can actually go to my youtube which you I can never spell YouTube. YouTube. Uh, you can go to my YouTube and you can check like my unboxing one and you can see a bunch of the different ones so you can kind of see what's in the boxes and what they're kind of like. Um, if they're nude, I don't show everything because it's YouTube, but if you have a question, you can always let me know, message me, and I will send you a photo. Because <laughs> I pretty much have everything still. But yay! Oh my gosh, so much new stuff. So I still haven't decided, but I think I'm gonna do some kind of giveaway with these wall hangings. Cause I have so many and they're made out of this like really nice vinyl material. Um, they're very vibrant. And I know that are, there's a lot of people out there that do put wall hangings up, but I don't. And I have so many, so I haven't decided what exactly I'm gonna do yet, but I think I'm gonna do something. So if you have any ideas for that, let me know because I'm not sure. But yeah, so there we go. So there was my otaku box, which looks like this Tucker box they're all pretty much about the same size and like i said when you open them up they're all pretty full too it's one of the bigger um more full subscription boxes i've ever used bought or worked for so that's kind of cool so that's who talk box all the anime ichi stuff 
Um, and you can choose if you want Ichi or not. Like, you can just get non-super sexy, or you can get sexy. And, like I said, when you choose the Ichi version, it's not everything's always crazy sexy. Like, some, like this month, I have an Ichi version, and the only thing that was really sexy was the statue, and they have a sticker on it, so you're good. <laughs> but, yeah, so I got that, and then I got my box from my friend Joseph with all my Star Wars stuff. I'm so excited. More pops. You know, that's all I need in my life is more pops. That's it. That's it. It's the only necessary thing. But yeah, and then I got my new backpack. Yay! So yeah, I think I'm going to switch out all the stuff. But yeah, the inside is like all Mickey. Super cute. So I hope the, uh, the double camera was helpful this time. Uh, I don't get to do it every time because this is my normal camera that I use. Uh, but right now I'm using... Shane's actual camera as well, so I get to use two. But got my oh, where'd it go? <laughs> Hello, Lion Crest. Hi, how are you? I got my hand sanitizer on the outside of my bag, you guys. That's how serious I am. It's how I show people I'm serious at the stores. I'm like, I got my hand sanitizer on the outside. <laughs> Hi, big daddy worm. Is that a wave? Oh, this one. So I don't know if y'all know Loungefly, but I am fine as well. So Loungefly actually has like really cute, like everything they do is like super cute on the inside. So this has little Ewoks on it. It's a bunch of different little kinds of Ewoks. And then, like I said, this one's Mickey. And then uh, I think this is actually Bioworld, but it's my wallet. It's Ray and Jedi. It has Achu on it. I think where the Porgs are from. And if you guys know me well, you may have seen my last um purse was actually was actually a porg so i've switched that one out for a little bit because it was getting it was getting a little a little um old because i used it a ton because i'm chopstick on i'm talking too much you guys are being so quiet today so who's all is working who all is working from home i know a lot of you guys that follow me normally on mondays work but you're able to like you know, lurk in the background. But yeah, so here we go. All the stuff. So excited. Yay. Oh, and I was talking about how Raptalia is like one of my favorites. So I really want to do a Raptalia, the slave version, because I don't really want to make like all the armor and stuff that she has. But her slave version is basically just what a brown poncho, right? <laughs> so are oh, you working from home now? Okay. Well, good. I hope everyone's staying safe. Um, but like, it's basically a brown poncho made out of like burlap material. So I wanted to do that. I already have the wig for her and then I need to make the ears. So I want to try to do that pretty soon. Now that I obviously, um, can't go out to photo shoots or go to things, I need to be working on some more cosplay. I got to get that motivation. So you guys got to help. Uh, though I will say on Thursday, instead of crafting, I'm pretty sure I'm going to play Animal Crossing with you guys. Because it's so fun. <laughs> oh, oh, oh god. Sorry, the whole table's moving. Ugh. Yes. Awesome. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Do y'all have any questions? Oh no, Kyla Ring fell down. Roxas! I was gonna see if you wanted to play with Kylo Ren, but I feel like they're already playing with. Oh no, did I break his head? Oh no, they're just super jointed. But it is kind of cool. You can see the like red. I did think that was actually kind of cool in the movie, the red outline stuff. So there you go. There's him. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Unless you guys have any questions for me, I know. A lot of my conventions that were coming up have been postponed. Um, I know, let's see. So Fan Expo Dallas has been postponed to July 19th through 21st. So, no, July, June, June. So Fan Expo Dallas, which was going to be actually like now, um, is postponed to June 19th through 21st. And then Megacon, which is another big one I have, is 
ha announced today that they're postponed to June 4th and 7th. So I got a busy June. <laughs> got a busy June. And then I think the other um, SpaCon that I have is not until September. Hey, you want to play with uh, Kylo Ren? I have two, yeah. That's cool. Careful. Careful. Okay. Here you go. You can play with she's me. She's letting me have she's letting me play with me. He already came in here. I gave him the Vader one already. That was on good. Yes. Huh? Yeah. I'm almost done, I think. This one this statue, you know how they're JJ shows? This one had a sticker over it, like a oh. little heart sticker. All right. Like, a, like a little emoji over it. Oh, hey, look at Yeah, it's Reese, Reyes, Reyes. Reyes Gregory. Reyes, and oh, I got called out on my last one uh -huh. for not last one. This was like months ago for saying Rhea and without the S because uh -huh. I, you know, I don't have a script. And this guy was like, fake nerd. I'm like, yep. okay. Fake nerd. Well, people say. De like Deku and Deku, and there's all different kinds of pronunciation. It's all not English, so you know, it's fine. <laughs> nope. Nah, nah, that's awesome. So the thing on here says, um, do you think with Super Sans he could open a bottle with his teeth? I mean, he probably do it without it. <laughs> without I mean, Super Sans? Did you see what the, some of the stuff he does, some of the original ones? No. Like Dragon Ball, he does some crazy shit, I'm not gonna lie. Well, there you go. Does some crazy shit. So yes, the answer is yes, he could open it with his teeth. Yeah, I'm almost done. I just opened all yeah. this. And he doesn't go super saiyan until, like, much later. Oh, okay. Well, he's just badass, then. That's yeah. how it works. He also has a, a monkey tail and a staff. Well, oh, yeah. Staff. Is that the one that has a monkey tail? Yep. So Dragon Ball Z, I'm not going to lie. I have not seen a lot of, of well, Dragon so Ball Z. Dragon Ball. Oh, or Dragon Ball. I haven't seen a lot of Dragon Ball in general. I watched the Broly movie. Broly. Broly movie. Bigger. Uh, for Dragon Ball, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to pretend I'm a Dragon Ball. Uh, nerd. I just don't know it you as know much. Bulma. I do know Bulma. I dressed up as Bulma once. Do you know what her, her company is? Bulma. No. Space Capsule. Ah, close. Capsule Core. Yeah. Aha! I knew it was something with space and capsule. I don't know why or how I knew that, but she I did. She has little pills and she throws them away. I Oof. knew it! Uh, 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 uh. Not a fake nerd. Just a semi-fake nerd. <laughs> semi-fake nerd. Partial nerd. Red Eyes Golden Frias autographed by Linda Young. Don't know what any of those words are. Is it Golden Frieza? Red Eyes Golden Frieza. Yeah. Autographed by, I'm assuming, the actress. Which one? Linda Young. Who's it? Voice actor? I guess. I'm assuming. Is it a photo? Or is it a... I don't know. Is it a statue? What is it? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. I don't know. I think about bye. So, okay. So I do know that um, the voice actors I mostly know are from My Hero Academia because I have been watching My Hero Academia for a long time. Um, and I've met a lot of the voice actors because they're all Funimation. Well, the, the English voice actors, they're all from Funimation and Funimation is here. So I know a lot of the people from that. I do know a lot of the voices from Dragon Ball and the new Dragon Ball. It's a Funko Pop. Aha. Yes, I guess. <laughs> um, so I know a lot of the, the voice actors and stuff from Dragon Ball, from uh, Demon Slayer. Uh, was it Demon Slayer? Demon Slayer. Which so there's there's Demon Hunter and Demon Slayer, right? Or no, Demon Slayer and something Hunter. Oh my God! There's so many animes. What's the one? Night Slay. It's gonna drive me crazy. Dragon Slayer? No. Something Slayer. Anime. It's not the one with the little girl who turned into a vampire. Okay, so there's an anime called Slayers. That's not helpful. <sighs> so Demon Slayer. I think, I think that's the one I'm thinking of. No, Demon Slayer is not the one I'm thinking of. Demon Slayer is that new one. There's another one called something, and it's got a knight. It's 
It's gonna drive me insane. But it is newer and a lot of, whenever they first did it, I guess the very beginning, it's like, I guess his sister or something or his mother or somebody gets like tortured and raped and murdered or something and it turns into like a, a knight and tries to slay them. Um, so because of all of that, which is a very adult theme, um, when they first started announcing it, it was announced more as like a, a hentai. And so a lot of voice actors like didn't really want to do that, which I don't know why. I mean, High School DxD is almost hentai, I'm just saying. Um, but it was kind of like talked about, like it was going to be more that way, which obviously didn't end up being that way. So a lot of new voice actors were able to get in on that moot on that show because established voice actors didn't want to do it. I cannot remember what it's called. It's going to drive me crazy, you guys. Um, no one knows. It's got a knight in it. It's not Claymore or Fate and not Seven Deadly Sins. It's going to drive me crazy. I know like five of the voice actors from it. <laughs> but anyways, so a lot of the voice actors I know are from My Hero or that one or... A lot of the Funimation ones. So, I do not... Do, wait, okay. Goblin Slayer. Thank you. Goblin Slayer. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Goblin Slayer. Yeah, so Demon Slayer is the one that's about the vampires, or the demons, and it's only in Japanese so far. Uh, Goblin Slayer is the one I'm talking about. So, they did a English version, obviously, here at Funimation, and when they announced it, it because of, like, the adult themes. A lot of people thought it was going to be hentai, so a lot of established voice actors didn't want to do it. So there's a lot of like new voice actors in Goblin Slayer. And I watched some of Goblin Slayer. Um, I was watching it when I was sick or something with Shane once, and so I was falling asleep, but I did watch some of it and I really enjoyed it. But yes, I know a lot of the voice actors from, from Goblin Slayer and from My Hero. Why is there Goblin Slayer, Ninja Slayer, and Demon Slayer? Like how many Slayers can we have? How many guys? Like, how? I don't, there's too many. But yeah, okay. Thank you. That was gonna drive me insane if I couldn't figure it out. And like, same thing with like, I feel like Sword Art Online, there's like 75 different versions. So like, I haven't watched any, I wa the only Sword Art Online I've watched is the one where they're like in a video game and it's a little girl with like pink hair. I watched that one. And then same thing with like Fate. I just watched the newest like Babylon, Babylon Fate. And that was really good, but I haven't really seen any other ones. And I watched Dr. Stone, which is new. So there's a lot of animes out there, you guys. So many. And that's why I think it's funny if someone tries to call someone out for, like, mispronouncing or missaying, like, something. Because I'm like, there's, like, 70 million animes to watch out there. I definitely haven't seen them all. <laughs> I have not seen them all. But on this piece of paper, I have seen High School DxD. I have a cosplay from it. Rise of Shield Hero. I'm doing a cosplay on it. I have not seen Fairy Tale, but I know about it. Dragon Ball Z, I don't know, but I, I know about it. I haven't seen a lot of it. This No Game, No Life, I have not seen, but I have heard about it, and a lot of people have said it's good. And then, like I said, Sword Art Online, I've watched some, but not this version. So, hey, it's okay. I'm like half there. <laughs> but yeah, hey, I've seen all the Star Wars. I have a R2-D2 shirt on. Yay! So yeah. Awesome. So unless anyone has any questions, which you guys are being very quiet, I don't think you do. Um, that's pretty much all I had for the day. Um, I got two new follows today, so thank you guys. I think I'm pretty close to, let's see. Let's see my channel. Yeah. Oh, I just hurt myself. Okay, yeah. So I am at 180. Oh no, I'm gonna hear myself. Hold on. Okay, yeah. so ah! Get out of here. Ah! <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. Whew. Oh no, nope, still there. There we go. Okay. I opened it up and it was repeating myself to it. But yes, so I have 187 followers so far. So I have. Three more until I get to 190. Yay. And then that means, I guess, 13 until I get to 200. Yay. And then I'll dance all the dances. 
kind of interesting that I can stand in this set. I don't know. Oh God, oh Lord, oh no, light's broken. Ooh, light came unplugged, sorry about that. Um, so I don't think like I stand in any of mine because even my crafting ones, uh, I usually am having to sit because it's my area. So there you go, I get to stand, yay. I guess I could have been standing the whole time. I didn't really think about that. <laughs> Lazy, didn't even cross my mind to stand. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing good uh, during this fun time of isolation. Um, I'm doing good, going a little crazy because I work from home, so it's not like as bad for some people who obviously don't work from home and aren't used to it. But I also, you know, go to photo shoots, um, go to different events and things that I'm not able to go to and Comic Cons. So hopefully if everyone will just stay home, <laughs> then we won't have to deal with it much longer and we can start going to Comic Cons again. But yeah, like I said, my two main ones, they've both been rescheduled to June. So we got that. Yay. Do y'all have any final questions? Thanks for all the, the, the chatting with me today. And thanks for telling me it was Goblin Slayer. That would have driven me totally insane. Also, look how cute my mouse pad is. It's Ray as a cat. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you want to do Taku Box, 100%, go to takubox.com. Uh, Hello. I feel I feel like I hear singing. Go to the talkbox.com, use my code. I've said it a bunch of times, but just in case. There you go. Talkbox.com, use my code, and you can get ten dollars off your first two boxes. I need to fix that because it doesn't say first two. But it should be. But yeah, and then you can always tune in. So now that I'm back on schedule, like I said, I'm not sick anymore, and we're not having to deal with like craziness throughout the week. Um, I'm back to my schedule, which is going to be Mondays during the day, Thursday nights. I may throw in a couple extra just because I know a lot of people are home right now. So maybe I'll throw in one or two throughout the week. Um, if I have something, if I'm like working on a craft or something that I f figure you guys may want to see. So yeah. Yay. And um, yeah, so if you don't follow me, you can click the little purple heart button and you can follow me. I would love it. Like I said, I'm only three away from 190 followers, which would be so exciting. And then the next goal will be 200. Yay! And I'll dance. Every time someone follows me, I dance. And I dance just at random times anyways. You know, it just happens. Um, yeah, so I'll do that. Oh, I didn't realize my phone's like in there. Sorry. Oh, here's from another Taku box. It's from Overlord. It's my little phone clicker thingy. That was one of the... Um, one of the things, the smaller things at, at one of the boxes. Um, yeah, and then if you want to know when I'm streaming, you can click the little bell and it'll notify you that I'm coming up. And yeah, you can always message me with fun games or things you want me to try. Like I said, this week I'll probably be doing Animal Crossing. Um, I'll probably go back to Rise of, um, sorry, Star Wars Fallen Order because I have not beat that yet. And I really want to because I'm good at it. I've gotten pretty good at it. I know last time I streamed, you guys were there, so you saw. I've gotten pretty good at it. So I want to do that one some more. I want to do some Animal Crossing. Um, yeah. So I know I was doing Lego for a little while, which is fun. There's lots of possibilities. So like I said, I may throw some extra streams in there just because everyone's home and bored and may as well. <laughs> but yay. Awesome. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put my social media get all of that in there let's see what else well that's like all my social media so I guess that's good and like I said if you want to see some more um, unboxings of some of the different Otaku boxes before you buy one you can always go to my YouTube channel they are all on there so that's good um, some of them are just straight up videos that I've cut together and done on YouTube of just the box and then some of them are like this stream where I take it from here and just put throw it on my YouTube so yeah there's lots of fun stuff so and you guys, yeah, let me know if you need anything from me. I will be here working on some stuff. I've been working on Patreon, OnlyFans, um, doing lots of photo shoots. I did a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger photo shoot recently. I did a Bowsette and Buet sexy photo shoot recently. Um, I'm hoping to do 
a couple more fun ones. I'm hoping to do an Animal Crossing one soon. So I've got lots of ideas. So stay tuned for fun things. And thanks for hanging out and following me. I love all you guys, obviously. You know, if you've been on here and you've been following me, you know I love you guys. Um, so yeah, and don't forget to follow me and subscribe and all that fun stuff. So yay. All right, cool. Mwah. Thanks, guys. I will see you on Thursday night. Maybe, if I can figure out how to end it. <laughs>